so. <laughs> when you're ready. John Wayne once said, courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyways. I've once had one of my horses fall on me. I got badly injured, but I was back on within a week. I've never let being scared scare me, stop me from saddling up. I'm going to show you how to properly tack up a horse so you and your horse don't get hurt and are safe. The first step to this process is the biggest part, the saddle and its extra parts. The second part of this process is the bridle and the tie down, which gives you control. Then finally, the splint boots that protect your horse's legs. This is my horse hideaway, and he's gonna be dressed in speed tack today. The very first step to this process is the saddle. The saddle is basically lightweight, horse speed, so your horse can run faster. Then we have the cinch. The cinch is what sits on your horse to keep the saddle on. It connects to the latigo, which you have to tie on like this. You take it through twice, then you bring it through this way, and then you have to bring it over like this. And then you take this part through, and you pull. And that's it. Then we have the breast collar. The breast collar keeps the saddle from sliding back when you're trying to go as fast as you can forward. And you connect it here through this loop. And you just put it on one of these. I always do the third because I like it to be tight. Then you have the wither strap. The wither strap sits on the other side of this, the breast collar. It sits right here. You just connect it, and that's that. It keeps this from sliding up or being down. And then you have to connect this part to under on the cinch because there's a little thing, a little like this. It connects down here. And then you have the bridle. The bridle and the saddle, the bridle and the tie down go together. This is the tie down. It goes over the horse's head. You always want to make sure you keep the halter on the horse so your horse doesn't run away. It just goes over the horse's head like this. And then it sits underneath the breast collar and then it connects where the, the other part of the breast collar connected between the horse's front legs. And this keeps you 